Okay, we already see uh, Duma. And we start this off with our armor ball team. Hmm. Let's see. What armor? What armor? Words. Okay, a bunch of ward armors. The healing tower is over here. But we cannot bring Kranya because Kranya is not going to work because the healing tower is a little too deep and there is a restore healer here. So they're going to be moving. Actually, no. Are they going to be moving? She has armor boots, so she can move. She can move next to Cecilia. Because no one has March. No, no one I can see has March. So she'll move over here one of these two spots to heal Cecilia. Assuming Cecilia is hit by a debuff or Black Knight gets hit. Let's see. Um, I don't have chill res, but even if she had chill res, she's not the highest. The highest is Mer. Attack is over here. Defense is here too on Surter. So I don't... Hmm... So Black Knight's not going anywhere. I mean, um, Erica's not going anywhere. Huh. Okay, let's think about this carefully. How we intend to take this on. So obviously these, the team I'm not bringing, I'm not bringing Brunia. Um. Hmm. I feel like we can bring Kranya. If Kranya, if Kranya can do enough damage to kill, like I, I need to break the healing tower, and then Kranya with double savage blow, plus a bow tower, plus a Halloween Hector, should be able to kill. But I don't think Kranya has enough attack because just looking at Sir here. He's catching a bunch of ward armor, so his stat is really inflated. Um, hmm. I would need them to break formation if I was to try to kill them. Let me see. Maybe it's this one instead because I'm not aiming for the instant miracle and then using Ninian I can slip out uh yeah I'm pretty confident oh actually Duma is not breaking this so I do give him neck two so all stats it sucks that my healing tower is over here though Wait a second. Dazzling Staff. Okay. Uh, no, that's not going to work. I was thinking I could put Hector here. Because Hector has uh, effective against armor damage. And he has um, this encounter. So if he can bait Cecilia into him, he'll kill the her. Uh, but that does not seem to work. Um, I think the plan is to come up to the side, break that healing tower. See, they can't move up fast enough to catch me. I can break the healing tower and get out. I think that's the strategy. over here we'll have Ninian over here to heal Duma 7 damage doesn't really matter to Ninian because they'll all still be under panic 
but none of them have any buffs anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Um, this has attack tactics, I should move her over. Uh, I don't really need defense tactics like that. Uh, I should move Hector a little closer. My healing tower is over here. So if I really wanted to, I could heal um Okay, let's 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 start it off like this. And let's just start breaking stuff and maneuvering. We don't want to go too far yet. What is your desire? And Hector needs to just plant himself right here, so he can hit all six of them at once. We after we obviously after we break that healing tower over there. Getting to the fountain might be a little tricky. I think. Um, we'll have to see. Okay, well, we're just gonna end turn here and see what happens. Let's see where does Resor go. Okay, okay, she didn't move as I suspected. Okay, so you can just break that. Uh, wait. Oh, I'm I'm so silly. He doesn't have a pee hole. He has board armor. Okay, so let me just because nobody it's in range, anyways. Mm, if I break this, nobody comes forward anyway, so. I just break that not care. Okay, perfect. Now I can break the healing tower. Okay, I can kill her no problem. Okay. None of them reach me. Put me in back. Dance on. Look at that. I do 22. It's with he has wary fighter on. If I pop him with Hector now, he should not reach. Well, we we we'll pop him now anyways because their healing tower is gone. Uh, Surter is still Surter, and he's really tanky. But Murmur cannot kill us. Duma cannot kill us. But Surter does hit us with his stupid thing. Um... Hmm. No one has an instant special I need to watch out for that I can see. Um, I think the play here is to kill Cecilia here. Nobody can... Actually, she threatens me. Because... If Murr or someone hits me hard enough, she can attack with her raffle staff. Actually, what am I thinking about? I can just smite Hector in here. Let Hector clobber. Turn that on. Let Hector clobber Surter here. Okay, that opens up more plays. Um, Duma here has vantage. But he puts me into vantage if I hit him. Uh, if I hit him here, only 
Winter Cecilia can reach. There's no way she's going to survive all of 5 HP, but she can get a heal. Uh, how much does she heal for? 50% of attack, 25. How much does he hit for? He hits her for 30. Um, it might be a little close to do it that way. But she does have bow fire, but let me think about this. If I attack Duma right here, I'll one shot him, get two charges on Miracle. The alternative is ignore Winter Cecilia? Yeah. I just leave Hector here? Can Hector tank him all? I want to say he can. Um, does anyone have Bold Fighter? Okay, so he has Bold Fighter, but he cannot reach. So these two are the problem. I feel like Erica can't kill Om. Because I'll be here on the defense tile. And then Duma is going to run headfirst into Hector. Alright, we're gonna go with this plan. We're going into Vantage. Um, hopefully the attack smoke and everything is good enough to get us there. Restore. Okay. Run for into Hector. Oh. Yep, we messed up. Oh wait, no, no, we have miracle. Oh wait, no, we still messed up. We missed by one. Oh. Oh my god. Wow, we missed it by one? Um, normally I would just ladder. Oh, I really miscalc that. That was pretty bad. Um, normally I would ladder, but... I don't see a reason. It's Astra season, so I'm just gonna not ladder. I'm just gonna continue killing things. Oh, well, I'm skipping animation. Sorry. Usually I do that on normal. Alright, let me see. We'll have these two try to get to that pot. Uh, let me think about this. Well, we don't just move Hector back. And she can't kill him. Uh, 38 res, 27. She can't double us, anyways. How many turns do I still have left? Not that many turns? Okay. Um.
Yeah, okay, we're gonna draw him back. Break that. I'm gonna just smite her over. Just keep her nice and close. Happy minion doesn't matter. Break the shrine. Hmm. Let me just... Oh, she can't double me, so I just smite her in. Take the fountain. And we'll just kill Erica. So yeah, that was my bad. Um, I miscalculated that, I guess, because of Erica's heal? She's, uh, Cecilia survives by one. Uh, I was like, oh wow. Couldn't help that though. I I was really... I was relatively confident that we would have made it through that. No issue. Um, but I guess that one damage mattered. Um, yeah, I, that was a complete miscalc on my side. Uh, but it's Astra season, so I, I'm just gonna let it slide. Normally I would ladder... But I don't want to burn my ladders over something something so trivial, so I'm just going to continue with it. Ugh, that was just so bad. Alright guys, uh, we messed up pretty badly yesterday, so hopefully in uh, today's match we don't mess up as bad. Uh, we lost the unit yesterday. Uh, I'm really hoping we don't lose anyone. Alright, let's see. Uh, for those who are wondering, uh, I already checked my equipment before I went in. Oh, yeah, it's a Kranya. Wait a second. Mm. Yeah, I'm unsure of this. This is a dark team in the middle of Astra season. Let's see, healing towers over here. Do I even care about the healing tower? I don't think so. Because my bolt tower here hits. So let's see what we gotta do. So obviously start and break this. Come up here, smite to this trap. Oh, um, I'm ta I'm thinking in uh, terms of me using Kranya this time. So I'm gonna smite it to this trap. Uh, my Kranya will be here, and then I'll attack Reinhardt. Uh, I should be able to kill Reinhardt. If not, it puts him in critical condition. Then we will pop Hector here, hitting these three. Bolt Tower hit them too, so they go really low. And they should all die. Uh, but how do I get the pots? That's the question. Mm. How do I get to the potion? These pots? How do I get there? Let me think. I don't have a range, do I? Uh, no, I do not if I bring my own Kranya. If I bring Om, um, I have it, but Om um is going to have to test traps? If Om um steps on this one, 
And this was real. It will set him up on Vantage. And in turn, he will kill everybody. Uh, it's not really a big issue. I'm trying to see. Is there a spot that I can bait from? Wait, what level is this healing tower? It's 20. So if I hit them with Bolt Tower, they're still going to be short 5 HP. And then Kronya needs to be able to kill them. Aversa is the one that I'm a little bit afraid of because I'm thinking if I stand here and break this fountain with Kranya on this trap, I can use Hector and pop Reinhardt and these two, lowering their HP so that we have vantage over them. But then the same question, and then. She doesn't reach, or she dance. No, no. I, don't think she, I just think she doesn't reach us, and that'll give us an opening to take this pot. Mm. But the question now is, actually, I think my Kranya will not get doubled. Double check Kanye, where is she? Uh, let's see, 49, 43. She's gonna lose speed. And Aversa is going to maybe double? I have 30 res. Aversa has 53 attack. Uh, she has 23. Even if she doubles, I should be fine. The only issue is if she moon bows, but if I'm here, Aversa doesn't reach in general. Because only these three can reach us. Well, and the Reinhardt. And I don't believe any of these three would be able to kill Kranya, especially if these two eat the bolt tower and Reinhardt eats in there 20. Kranya needs to be able to survive one attack because Reinhardt has 70. No, uh, he's gonna have 52 bulk after he has 52 bulk after Hector pops him. Kranya here has 52 attack. So that hmm. I don't hmm. I don't see anything that can hit me that make that not true. Because this is a death blow. So yes, uh I think that works. Uh, 35 attack against Kanyas. I don't know. There's no way this Yun survives. Well, this Yun might survive, actually. She only takes 5 damage. So she goes to 34, 22, to my 53. I double her. Uh, 22 to my 53. Oh, 52, not 53. Uh, so it's what, 30 to her? So she takes 5... She'll live by 4? And then if Kranya is debuffed... Which I would be because I'm being hit by Chaos Manifest. I mean, I'm Chaos Mean. She doubles. Goes the 46 attack. Uh... Is there a way to avoid it? There's nowhere where I can put Hector where I can hit Reinhardt and hit uh, this Yoon at the same time. But 
I believe I have attack tactics, don't I? Sorry guys, this is a lot of thinking this time because I messed up already once. I can't keep messing up. Uh, so let's see. I do have attack tactics, so... Kronio's gonna have more attack. I don't see anything that's gonna shut it down. Outside of a Versa, but we can stay away from Kronia. Actually, no, I think Kronia has more HP than her. 58 to my 58. Okay, so we tie. Um, a Versa's Knight requires that we have to be under by 3, so we're good. Um, but in return, I'm actually hitting them with sudden panic. Uh, does that affect anything? I don't think any of them has buffs, so... Probably not. No. Oh, there's a chill attack. Uh, chill attack's gonna hit Hector. So that's not a problem either. Okay, I, I, I really just don't see anything stopping me from making this play. Alright, I'm gonna go with it. Let's see, he has, yeah, he has less defense because of a chill? What? He's the highest defense? Oh, okay, so that math is even better because then he definitely dies now. Uh, okay, let's think about this. So, Aversa eats the chill attack, so she definitely can't kill Kranya. You eat chill speed, doesn't matter to me. I don't have a chill res, okay. Uh, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What is the setup we are looking for? We are looking to break this chair, uh, well, this table. Move Kranya up one. Then we can have Naga slide under. Whoa, Naga, you have 71 attack, that's kind of high. Uh, we, we can have Naga slide under here. Uh, and in the next turn, we will smite Naga, well, smite with Naga, she'll come up to here, uh, Kranya, and then from here, she'll walk over to this trap, breaking the fountain, well, not next turn, third turn, turn three, can't mess that up, I need the lightning, I need the, uh, bolt tower before I can go in, so I'll break that fountain here, Reinhardt's gonna engage on me, well, one of these, Four are going to engage on me, and they're going to die. They should die with no problem. Aversa cannot reach. She she's going to move forward, catch a dance. So she moves here, she catches a dance. Her range extends only up to here, so we're still safe no matter what. And if she attacks Kanye here and dies, leaving Minion over. Assuming here, where she dance, uh, then I can just slide Kanye to this trap, break this fountain, and we should be scot free from that point. But over here, uh, I me is not gonna have taken any damage, but forty three attack with thirty three res. Well, fresh bouquet, what does this do? Just be next to an ally? Okay, just be no allies. So she's gonna do very low damage to me, and I'll be able to retreat. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Ah, okay, we're pretty set now. Uh, oh, actually, no. I need to. I need to be close enough. Actually, no, never mind. Yeah, because I'm right next to him. Okay, I was just thinking about the tactics. I need to make sure I'm near enough to it. Time to kill. Uh, does breaking this block matter? It shouldn't, because nobody should be able to reach. Okay. Have to break that. Well, technically, at this point, I can just... Move Kranya here and smite up. Break this if I wanted to. Hmm. Is I could be here, break this.
to dance by Minion from here and back out? Would that be the safer play? But I'm confident none of these guys will survive. I don't think I need to overcomplicate the play. You just break stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna overcomplicate the play. Because we have one turn to spin, so we'll just send her in. That trap was real. That trap was real. Oh, we'll just. Uh, I have a drawback right okay. here. And we'll just draw her back. Um, yeah, and we'll leave Hector in this position. So he can hit Reinhardt. And then we should have this. Actually, no. Uh... One, two, three. We can attack to here. Who can't reach here? You in here can't. Actually, not sure flies or anything, right? Really. Uh, aerobatics. So she can't reach. One, two. So yeah, she can't reach this spot. If I attack from this spot, I should get every one of them, except for her. And hmm. And then this will leave me closer to the pot. Because if I come through the middle, yeah, because if I come through the middle here, they'll all die. And that's not what we want. Time to kill. Ooh, I lost speed. I'm gonna give off my speed. Um, is it really, okay. Can you rival my speed? She does. Wait, no. Oh, you do. Yeah, yeah. But I have 58 to 24. No, you should die. Time to kill. Um, let's think about this. I don't want to miss the pot. Alright, alright. What if I smite her here? She reaches here. Walk forward onto this trap. Kill Kranya. Which will do splash damage. Minion can then dance from down here. From here. She'll move forward. And then we can use Altina to pull to draw her back. Okay, let's do it that way. So, smite forward. Oh, whoops! Sorry guys, got the wrong animation. My bad. Yeah, and then we can use Hector here to pop Reinhardt, dance Kronya to take this pot, then use Altina to get out. Okay, 
There should be no way in hell this Reinhardt can survive. Draw back, get away from there. Yeah, yeah. We can attack again, but then everything dies, which is not what we want. We want the pot. Um. This way, Lilina. Yeah, nice, I was gonna do this show. <laughs> All right. So we take thirteen. Kill there in one shot. Apply debuffs. So seeing that Reinhardt's not attacking, it means he doesn't have a kill. And Aversa's not attacking either, so she doesn't have a kill either. So we have this. And we have Miracle, so there's... Like, that was, it was the, the backup plan. If we needed to, we do hit uh, Miracle after a few attacks. So, we're good. We got it. Sometimes it feels really dirty to use um, Kranya plus Halloween Hector. Alright. So, we redeemed ourselves a little bit today. Um, yeah, I, I feel like that was a good redemption right there. Uh, it did take a lot of thinking though, because there was like, the, the map was so open that I wanted to confirm to make sure I don't get killed, you know, overkill them. See, that's the problem sometimes with Vantage, you overkill the enemy without getting yourself gaining the, the pots. So I had to make sure I can get all the pots, and that was the best way to do it. At least I think that was my best way to do it. Alright, all right. time for our third battle of the week. Uh, so for those who are not keeping track, we only do uh, one double up a day. Alright, let's see what we get. Uh, I already checked everything uh, before. So, uh, everyone's skills are set up correctly. Okay, we already see a Tiki. It's a armor ball. How fun. Let's see. It's a plus 10 Cecilia with goody boot. A Fury. Okay. Okay, this is a really weak healing tower, so we and they're right in front of my bolt tower. Let's restore. She's not going anywhere. A lot of wards. But realistically, I only have to do 16 damage with Kranya to kill? If I was to use Kranya? If I was to use Kranya, I have to do 16 damage to kill. Or. If I bring Om, um, I can try to hit and run them from this spot. There's uh, Olivia here though. 38 defense on Effie. Yeah, if I was to attack, I'll get this spot. After the bolt tower goes off. Actually, do I have a Hector team with me? I do have a Hector team. Um, so I can just... Hector... Hector plus Alm and just pick at them? But I could do the same thing with Kranya. Uh, the difference being Alm is 58 attack and Kranya is 49. Uh, Alm does way more damage. I should go with Alm? I go with Alm. The strategy would more or less, like I said, be come in from here and kill because none of them can actually move far enough to matter we do need to worry about Erica healing them all back up though 
That's why I think Kranya is better because Kranya can keep applying Savage Blow. And then we wouldn't have to care as much. Hmm. But the problem is that can Kranya even do damage to them? Because 38 defense with ward armors. Wait, this one doesn't have it. So it's. 12, 50. Uh, I am. Well, we also have Hector. So there's no reason to think that I can't hurt them. Um. Who actually has the highest defense here? The highest is 45 on Tiki. Um. I'm gonna go over Kranya. Mainly just because I want the Savage Blow more than I want Om um, doing um, Attack Smoke. Even though Om um has higher damage and should guarantee to kill these guys, I think I value the Savage Blows more. Also, it's nice to have Disarm Trap, so I can just walk up to this trap and not care. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we're gonna need a slight. We gotta keep Hector over here so he can pop them. We can ignore the healing tower because it's not strong enough for me to care. Uh, we want to keep her near so that we can get tactics. So, actually, how about I move Hector over here? Uh, okay, and it'll be two spaces away. Right, this seems better because I can just move Hector into place when everything's done being set up. And I have a school here, so it's negging them for two. I don't think any of them has real buffs. Like, visible buffs. Wait, some... Oh, chills? Okay. And then this is just a school. Okay, got it. Alright, alright, alright. Let's... Oop, if I forget it, let me turn these on. Alright, uh, okay, we're gonna smite in and break stuff. Alright, that was a real one. I can't draw her back from there. Whatever, we'll just keep clearing up stuff. Make room. Just smite her over, break this open. Okay, so we expected this. Restore. Uh, it's interesting though that this Erica doesn't have. Um, Miracle. Usually they have Miracle to s stall with, but instead this Erica has, um, I assume Holy Heavenly Light? Or, wait, no, what is this? What does she have? Yeah, Heavenly Light. Okay, uh, okay. So yeah, we do 16 damage to her. So we just need to wait now. Okay. Yes, 
Okay, Hector into position. Now Eric's in position. She's gonna keep restoring. I don't really care. It's a dance. Alrighty. 58, 21, she survives. Actually, thinking about it, do I really need to use Hector here? I'm thinking if I don't use Hector, I can save him for later. Because I hit her for 21. Get danced by Minion. And then I can just attack her again. And kill. I go to 35. There's no way this Erica's doubling me. And she has Raffle. But she won't attack unless she can kill because of how the restore works. So she's not a threat. They're all trapped. None of them can get to me. Paul's can use this link skill to get there. Uh... Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, wow. Oh, that was such that was so bad. Oh crap. Um That was a butterfinger right there. Uh, damn it. Uh, is there a way to fix this? Actually, can I get her to come out and attack me? 53-41. Guaranteed to double me. Uh, 53... I think I might die. Oh, that was such a bad bother finger right there. Uh, can I salvage this? Uh, with Hector. Yes, Hector can always just break this and let them come to him. Well, actually, only Tiki is gonna come down. And then Tiki's gonna attack once, not kill. Return fire. Uh, well, return fire should kill. And then no one else should be able to reach. Okay, let's just do that, I guess. Well, lucky we didn't use Hector right away because that was Butterfingers right there. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Uh. Alright, Tiki, are you gonna come down? Oh, wait, no! She's not standing next to a dragon. So she can't come down. Oh, God. Well, I was just. Go to her. Uh, Alright. This time, we're not gonna mess up.
Alright, this is gonna cause them to start moving. Kiki's gonna go down to attack Hector, which is what we want. Uh, I really don't see her killing Altina, even if through a double. 53 times 2 is 106. 106 against 47. Well, 106 attack. 39 times 2 is uh, 78. Even does like 30 something. But she heals. That's why I'm afraid. Actually, she doesn't get a heal there. She'll get it. One heal. And then she's gonna moon bow me. Uh, and then I might die to the moon bow. Let's not risk it. Yeah, let's not risk it. We, we, we have turns to work with. Okay, she's gonna restore loop. I don't really care about her restore loop. Okay. okay. We cannot kill TT over there. Okay, we killed TT there, no problem. But then the issue is this TT. She has bold fighter, which is what I'm afraid of. Uh, also, we're under panic. That sucks. Hmm. What's the odds that Konya here can kill one of you? Six against Hector's twenty-seven. That's what I'm really afraid of. All right. Okay, so we can kill her, and then the savage blow damage will splash. Okay. And this is why we saved Hector's skill. Time to kill Livia. Something really silly can happen to us. Using the Indian to dance. We'll kill Kiki here. And then Hector can just kill this Kiki. So now Erica is not going to attack because she does not have a kill. She's gonna restore some. Cecilia here. Cecilia's gonna move forward, have no attacks. Or she actually might be slipping for eight. No, she can't. Alright, so this is locked in. We don't have any. We don't have anything we need to worry about. We can just end her. Okay, I suspected she was gonna heal. She 
We cast reciprocal aid. We don't really care. We'll take this fountain now. We can kill her, no problem. We kill her, and then Hector comes and bops her. Okay, we got this. This was um, overcomplicated by me messing up that movement. <laughs> uh, this would have been a lot easier, and well, I, a lot quicker too if I just didn't mess that up. All right, where are we up to now? Let's see. Let's see. Where are we at? Come on, tier twenty-three. Yep, tier twenty-three. Not bad. Not bad. Wow. Alrighty, time for another AR match. Another day, another match. Alright, time to double up and spin the wheel and see what we get. What is this? This is an Ophelia. You? Iceberg? Okay. This is. Technically, base kit Tiburn, just that he has Gale Force, Racing, relatively base kit. Uh, this looks like exactly base kit Makaya, Elzora. So the threat is Ophelia. I actually don't remember how Blazing Flame looks. Um, like, I don't remember the pattern it attacks on. Okay, they have no healing tower. Um, so, literally, there is absolutely nothing stopping me from using Kronia here. Except for the fact that I have to get to this pot somehow without killing everyone. Uh, let's see, the solution to doing that would be. Is there a way I can get one of these guys to not attack me? Well, I have to kill Ophelia. She, you know, she has party bearing. So I'll be attacking from here. I'll kill Ophelia. And here, you can come down and attack. Uh, and I have no way to get to. So she beat. Oh, they all have reposition. So I don't know the order in which they're placed. So I don't know how they would move. But the, what my thought process right now is we attack from here, kill Ophelia. Minions will be out here, we'll dance Kanya. Then we'll dance and we'll be pull and run away. But that work? Because nothing is stopping me from smiting onto this trap and walking into this trap. I have Minion parked over here, come over, dance, repo, and get out of there. Because I don't think anyone will reach. I'll make it here. We kill transform. And he'll go one, two, three, and reach Kronya. She'll just come one, two, and she'll reach Kronya. But you will not be able to reach. You think that's the play? Kill transform is one, two, three. Safe here. I don't 
see any traps that he set up against me. Okay. I'm relatively sure the Kranya Hector team is going to work just fine. Okay, we're going with the Kranya Hector team. By these twin blades. So we'll retreat here. You just gonna start chasing us, and then we'll find a way somehow to sneak in and take those pots. Or you might start chasing. It will be done. Not over here. With I utter certainty. For her chase, her uh, forty-seven. If debuff, she gets plus six. So, 53, 53, 53, attacking twice is 106. Consider it done. 106, well, 53, we... Oh, do you should be able to take the hit? Okay, so... Let's set this up properly. Oh, sorry guys. I think that's a little bit on the loud side. I don't know. Fire emblem! Real quick. Okay, uh... Let me set up with like this. Okay! Trying to break that. Huh? Meaning and attack this. Yes, father. Hector breaks that. So when we do our splash damage, we're just gonna avoid Yoon. We'll just hit uh from here, but we have to smite anyways. Unless I smite with Naga. Uh that's a choice I can make. But there should be no way Ophelia survives anyway, so I don't think it's necessary. You have my trust. I already have these what two working desire? together to try to get the pot. With utter certainty it will be done. Alright, let's see who got debuffed. This way, Lelina. Uh Hector. Well, this is because this building is here. Six, six. Seven and two. Six, six, seven, and two. So he's eating the dark shrine too. Wait. Yeah. How's that possible? Shouldn't Consider it she done. Eat it? Oh no, 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 she doesn't have it anymore. She doesn't have dark shrine because she's getting hit by Yoon's whispers. No. Sabotage. No. With utter certainty. I'm actually not too sure what she's being hit by. That's giving minus four. Outside of the dark shrine. You have my trust. Yeah, she's being hit by dark shrine. So where's this seven coming from? Oh, the seven is from this. Sabotage rest. Okay, got it. Okay. With okay. utter certainty. Creep our way up and start breaking stuff. What is your desire? Time to kill. Maybe we need to be exactly here. Um. Hector needs to be exactly here. Oh, I forgot Bolt Tower was going to hit Yoon. Okay. This way, Lelina. Give them strength. I'm relatively sure we're good to go. Uh, yes, okay. Father. Smite in. That's a real trap. Yeah, yeah. Move 
Okay. Okay, now we're out of there. Oh wait, racing. I forgot about racing. He doesn't transform. So Yoon's gonna come here. Racing's gonna dance her. And then uh, that extends her range to here and here. Which in turn extends her range to where Altina is. And here, right? Here and here. She comes to here. She comes to here. Yeah, she comes to here. This is as far as she gets. A dance takes her here. Oh crap, she can run into not. Uh, she can run into Kronya. Uh. With utter certainty, it will be done. Speed res link. You have my trust. Thirty nine against. Let me double check that. Yeah, it's six. 39 against 53 is... 39, 53... Uh... What is that, 14? 40, yeah, 14. 14 times 2... It's 28. With utter certainty. I don't... I don't see her dying. And then we just need to... avoid racing somehow after that. Hmm... Done. All right, we're just gonna gamble it here, and I'm pretty sure my math is correct this time around that she should not die to you. Interesting. Uh, okay. Um, Hmm. Now I gotta see, is there a way that I don't kill Racing somehow? Racing's gonna transform if I kill you. He's gonna have three movement. He will go to one, two, three. He can reach Atina. If he reaches, he's gonna die. That's the problem. Let me think about this. Do I have the option... to... Can I kill Racing with Kronya here? And avoid you with drawback because if I, I'm here, right? I kill Racing, drawback, Kronya ends up here. No, Yoon's range reaches.
Or is there a way for me to kickball Kranya into position to take the potion? I mean the pot. Uh, let me think about this. Uh, if Hector smites from here, Kranya ends up here. We can then use Altena to pull her withdrawal back to here. Smite her, she comes up here, and break. Okay, we got it. Um, I'd like the help. This way, Lelina. And this is why I like to use have my trust. double smites. What is your desire? Time and to kill? we don't have to care of the trap because we have disarm trap. And they'll just walk in and die to Kanye. Easy stuff, easy stuff. The trick is always getting the potions when you're using a vantage unit. It's always tricky with the potion. Oh, I don't like to go in the potions. The Aether Pots. This should put us to tier 24. Rank 1000? Yeah, I suspected as much. Alright, time to go to tier 25. Mm hmm. This is an IP team? Uh. Wait, what is this? Gale Force. Aether. Huh. Interesting. There's a Niles here. Yet again, there's no healing tower. Huh. Let's see, they're right in the front of the bolt tower. Catapult kills my healing. Hmm. I guess we're supposed to approach from over here? With Kranja? We'll approach him here. No, we'll, we'll walk up here. Smite in here, here. And just walk up and kill them. She's probably the one who poses the biggest threat to us. Plus 10, huh? I don't see a hardy bearing ability, so we should be relatively good. Hector over here is not a problem, we'll just kill him with Halloween Hector if we need to. Um, same goes with Duma over here. We'll just... Well, he doesn't even have this encounter, we'll just pick on him in range. Yeah, this one's relatively simple. Because we can just move them from here. Just a nuisance. Hmm. You have my trust. Do we need our tactics? Let's see. Uh, highest defense is 36 among them. Highest HP is 54. They're gonna all go to like 1 HP. Um, there's no healing, so... I don't really need like tactics. So that we don't get hit by this anyways. It will be done. Um, Alright, kinda needs to be here.
Hector needs to be here. My smite should be next to her. Actually, no, I'll settle like this. So that... Actually... Do I even need Nini in there? Probably not. I probably should put Ninian over here. So that Ninian can help Altina break stuff. And chug along and, you know, get to those pots. Okay, let's go. Consider it done. Yes? Uh, I didn't want to walk over here, but... Uh, With utter certainty. Kill? So this lightning traps the real one. What is your desire? And we just end turn it for my foot tower bow. You have my trust. Let's keep breaking stuff. Huh? Um, yeah, let's see if we need up. Yeah, and turn again. Right, 25. Do we need these Hector here? Probably not, there's no one else there survives. Right, I'm 99% sure there's no Hardy there, baby. From so that Crumb gets hit too. Or Crumb will attack him. So it looks like I have to attack him here and ignore Sonya. But I don't want to ignore her because she has um, growing wind. So I guess I have to leave Crumb alone? See, he can't reach. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay, I don't need to use Hector, it looks like, because you know, don't see a reason that I would need to use Hector like that. We'll probably just save it in case we need to use it in another Consider it uh, done. instance. Yes, oh, Hector doesn't have boots anymore. That's a bit of a problem. Uh, that lightning trap's real. Oh, that's fine, actually. This is the end time. Oh, whoops. I forgot to... I didn't even realize I didn't turn on the animations. Oops. I'm so used to having it off. With utter certainty. I cannot kill people. Time to kill? Okay. Ha! Okay, now we have to start marching our way forward. 
You have my trust. What is your desire? I just guess if can Kranya kill Hector over here. I think she can. Do not get stalled out here. Yeah, Can we tell yeah. Uh, two corner armor is annoying. Duma has full fire, so Altina will definitely die if she fights him. Yeah, this is a little bit of a conundrum. Yes, father. This is a smite in there. How about, let's see, which one is this? Five to seven. So, if we kill Duma next turn, we'll have one turn to kill Hector. Uh, it's a little risky, but I believe we can do it. Okay. So, how about we break the potion, uh, potion, break the pot here, let Duma out, and then get the flying thing. Time to kill? So. Come back for that. Huh? Ether. Yeah. I'm not gonna store under here to trap. But she needs to get into position. So what is your desire? Done. Okay, we should get him out. It will be done. Okay, the thing was dead here. Yeah, this 
physically moving forward. Okay. We'll break that, let him out. Do you have my truck? I'm gonna try to get this Hector a little closer. My trust. 35. Time to kill? 35 plus 23. That should be enough. What is your desire? Okay. Get that first. Consider it done. Well, if I can just get Hector right there. Uh, I can move Altona out of the way and then just walk Hector in. With utter certainty. This way, Lelina. Of course. Oh, wait, I think it's just. I'd like Probably to. Help. Help you. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I forgot I didn't use this yes, skill yet. Father. Oh, we'll just Get them, father. Kill Hector with Hector. <laughs> Almost got beat by double corner armors, but it wasn't too bad. Ooh, 535 now. Ooh, what is this? Hardy bearing Ophelia. Pain staff. Dancer, Mickey Dancer, Dumite does not hit anything, the healing tower is here, uh, Bolt Tower hits these three, okay so the question is, if I can break this, and kill these two, if I was to use Kranya. Please, the answer is no. So maybe I'll use Brunia here? I think it's finally time. Because Brunia should be able to tank Ophelia, no problem. Because I don't see a panic manner anywhere that's going to mess with my buffs. So we put Brunia right here. One, two, three. No, one, two, three. She'll be here. Attack into Brunia. She'll attack into Brunia. And then they'll both die. We just gotta figure out how to kill Mickey here. Mickey here is really strong. She has 40 res. Uh... And you have to watch out for Azora. About that. If these two die in combat, Duma doesn't have boots, so he's not going to get far. Micaiah has sacrifice. Oh, I'm not very familiar with how the sacrifice mechanic works, like the AI. Uh, I think the major issue is that I believe she's going to be able to reach Brunya. 
through the dances. And then my bolt tower is being offset by this healing tower, so I can't rely on that to kill. Actually, wait, wait, wait. I'm overthinking this. What's stopping me from using Kranya? Come up here, kill Maribel. With Disarm Trap, come up here, kill Maribel. Catch a dancer naming him down here. Step over here and kill Ophelia. Okay, so the question is what's stopping me? The answer is Sky Mayogi. But I don't think he has enough attack power to actually take Kranya down in one shot. And if he cannot one shot Kranya, Kranya should one shot him back. But then would anyone reach Nini and if she was here? Well, I could just draw her back if anything. Okay, so Nini has to be parked over here. Okay, let's go with Kranya. I forgot we hit this arm trap and we can just avoid all this complicated setup. Okay, so Nini needs to end up here. Hector has to be under Kanya, which is here. And then these two can be off doing other things. Alright, so I think we need to at least huddle up a little bit so we can heal the upheaval damage through my healing tower. Uh, okay, so we need to move up here, break this. Hector can break this. Kanye can move over. And then we're gonna send these two on their own little missions to go take the other pots. Let's see, if I kill from here, Azura doesn't reach. Actually, she does. Duma actually can come down. But Duma doesn't have any healing. So naturally, Duma should just die. Actually, no. Makaya has sacrifice. Uh, we can make it in a way that she can't use sacrifice? By hitting her with Hector and Savage Blow? Her sacrifice shouldn't heal that much. Then we should be able to one-shot Duma. So I'm actually wrong. Hector has to be here. And Naga is here for the smite. And it'll give us dragon effectiveness against Duma also. Uh, so Altino will be over hanging out over here. And then we'll send Naga on her low mission to go get that pot later. We just gotta avoid Azura, more or less. Okay, we can do this. Right. Yes. Yeah. Let's just yeah. break stuff. Yeah, yeah. And get into position. Um, I don't want to risk you have my trust. the range because of sacrifice, so I'm not going to move forward. We'll figure out what to do when the time comes. Okay, so we healed that. No one should be able to reach Ninian if he's down here. Because these two will be dead. And there's no reason for Makaya, unless Makaya comes over to where Ophelia was to use Sacrifice. Then gets Azora's Dance, then she goes 1 2, one, well, one, two and she can attack. That's the only way she can reach. But she's not doubling us. Wait, does she automatically double? No. Of course. Uh, plus six, plus six, and plus twelve for her damage. Yeah. 
I have 31 res. I think she's fine. Like, there's no... But she has 69 HP. I don't think she's gonna get killed, even though Makaya attacks once. Or anything. I can move Hector over here. Because I don't care about hitting Maribel. She's gonna die anyways. I care about hitting these guys. Consider it done. And... I keep Altina here. No, she's not close. Like, I, I can't do the drawback play. Because Naga is what here. Minion's here. There's no way to draw her back. So yeah, we just have to end it like this and see how it goes. Alright, here we go. Oop, that was real, I didn't suspect it. Okay. Okay, we kill Maribel here. Philia here. <laughs> then we're gonna pop no Hector so that Makaya's sacrifice doesn't do much. It'll only give six more HP to someone and it shouldn't affect us. And there's no way Azora can reach us, so we can just retreat afterwards to get the potion uh, the pots. We should be good. Okay. Okay, yeah, I suspect that as much. He is not gonna be able to one shot me. We can see this. Captain is actually a benefit to us because he has no boots. So he's not doing anything, he's just moving around, which gives us the opening to just take the pots. Okay, let's see. He has... How is he teleporting around? Oh, ground orders? So he doesn't have that no more. So at most he could do is walk two steps at a time now. So he ends up here. Or there. Okay, we don't care about him. Uh, Azura... Time to kill? Azura should have a kill on yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Well, not a kill. She has an attack on us. She should. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And if Azura attacks Minion, you don't really care. See, Minion is... Really yeah, yeah. So, we're just going to start getting into position. Sure, she attacks me in the end. No, oh, he's still not in range of the healing tower. Time to kill. So we'll just break that. Yes. Let Naga get the kill here. Consider it done. Um, of course. You only lose one step. I break the help. You have my trust. 
because Dad did not care about him. Uh, and turn and kill him next turn. Uh, do my, you're such a joke sometimes. Okay. <laughs> See, sometimes you don't have to worry about the healing tower if your Cardinia has, like, a dancer and disarm trap because, you know, you get to just scoot on by ignoring those traps. Oh, wow, we missed tier 26 by 36 lift. Uh, that's probably because of our first fight where we lost a unit. But that's fine. We still have three more fights after this. Um, I'm relatively sure I'm locked in for tier 27. If I win those next th three or two, two fights, two fights. All right, so this is uh, the last day of the season. And uh, I am still up during reset time. So I'm just going to do the runs right now. What is this? Armor ball? Armor ball? I see... Oh, wait, no. Duma hits my armor school, because Duma hits nothing. Uh... Okay, I see no reason why I just can't bring Kranya. And let Kranya kill these guys for me. I see absolutely no reason why I can't do that. Um, I don't really care about the healing tower. If I really wanted to, I could just break it. Because I could smite in here. Oh, no, 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 no. Because the Ninian can't get her out. Uh, we'll just initiate with Bolt Tower and stuff. We should be able to kill them. Mm, can I guess here might be a little bit of a problem though. So we'll have to initiate on her, I guess? And then, no, he's got uh, boots. So, I can just slowly pick him off, I guess? I don't see anything that prevents me from doing that. So, we're gonna go with Kranya. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We probably want Hector over here so that he can smite. Oh, not smite, well, so he can pop them. I'm gonna probably want to kill this Panic Man or two. Uh, yeah, we'll just spend some time setting up. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay. This, this is a fine setup. Okay. We'll have Kanye break that. What is your desire? Naga under her. Sanatina so will update to break that. Dance of Union. Uh, Athena should not be entering battle at all, but just in case, I want to move her back so that she catches the healing tower's heal against Duma. Uh, someone panicked me. Or something. Oh, uh, okay, it was just a panic man. Nothing special. Okay, uh... Let me think about this. Is there a way... Is there a way to... Take the Panic Manor and the pot at the same time? If I smite up here, break this... Minion comes here, dance... Kill the pot. That doesn't work. Mm. 
No, there's no way to get to it. So, we'll just do it this way. And then end turn. Smite her in? Oh, a real trap. Yeah, we don't hurt him. Uh, we do a Hector deal with him. Okay. Oh wow, we don't kill her either. Well, let me fix that right now. Alright, let me see. None of them gets in range of her. So, how about we just... Break stuff over here. Yeah, nobody reaches us anyway, so... We can't just take our sweet time breaking stuff. Okay, if we move back, we can hit Duma. We can't kill him though. Uh, okay. We can hit this Duma. Pretty sure we want to hit this one. And that confirms which trap is real for us. And then we can let Minion come here safely. Time to kill. Which then in turn lets us kill this Duma while proccing a bunch of damage still. Uh, I don't see how this is going to affect me too much, but I'll break it just in case. Uh, Tarja has Vengeful, Candle Lobdra does plus 2 to all stats, 52, to my 27, uh, no one else should be able to reach, so there's no reason why we won't attack, and I just realized I didn't turn on animations, I'm sorry guys, it's like really late for me right now because this is um, reset time. So as you can see on my clock, that is probably recording, it's 2 a.m. for me. I'm just doing this so that I can show you guys the replays. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can't hurt Surter. Uh, but we can just approach it. Let me think about this. Because I need to approach in a way where I can kill Surter and get the pot. Well, I can just get the pot like this. And then we'll kill Sutter like this. Dan Hector and clean up Canagus. So I feel like Hector here covers for uh, Kanya's slight weakness when dealing with armor units because, you know, armor units just naturally tend to have a lot of armor, but, uh, well, <laughs> now armor units have a lot of armor, well, that's a misnomer, but yeah, he helps by having bonus damage to them. Okay, that gets us to tier 26, uh, the next win gets us to tier 27. And we do not need to get pots this time. 
Okay, let's see what monsters that we get this time. Uh, that's a level 5 healing tower. Where's the hardy bearing? Hardy bearing's back here. Not within reach of the heal. Uh, what is this? Two ally and adjacent allies for one turn. Guardian's act. Okay. So there's a infantry pulse here. Times pulse there. And an infantry pulse here. Um I'm trying to see if I can get in their turn one and just mess with them. To get in your turn one, Kanya will be here. Hector has to be here. Comes down, smites her. So she comes to here. She'll be. No, yeah, she'll be here. Under the trap. And then. You will walk forward here. Come to kill Om, which is pretty hard. Please, I can't. I should know. Forty four speed. I'm uh, pretty sure I can't double him. Yeah, I only have forty three. Can't double him. Hmm. So I'll end up here. Uh, Hector's down here. So someone here. The alternative would be. Oh, he's holding a slaying bow. Okay, so the alternative is to give up Hector's damage and just straight up hit her with it. Like, place him right here and hit her with it to mess up her IP. If I mess up her IP, then... then they can't fire. But do I really care about them firing? 47, 52 attack. She has wind sweep. If her speed is greater than my speed, sword, lance, axe, bow, dagger, or beast cannot count attack. But is she faster than me? No, 43 speed. Am I really? No, I lose speed here. I'm 43. She's. 39? Unless something here gives her speed. Mm, no, I don't see anything here that gives her speed. Forty-nine. I mean thirty-nine, not forty-nine, right? No, thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Pretty sure we're fine if we attack from here. The I, I have to kill Alina, and then Om um, backs up into us, but then he'll be hit by Savage Blow uh, and Hector's damage, so he should die. She is going to be at, taking four damage, so Kanya has to survive a hit from him to beat her. I don't know how I'm going to beat this thing, though. This thing is... thick. 57. Fifty-seven HP. Uh... So she takes a total of, what, four? Yeah, she takes a total of four. 
Unless I find a way to pop that healing tower. It's not that I can't, but then... Okay, let's think about it in that situation. What happens if I pop... I come up here... Oh, smite up here. Come in, break the healing tower. Bolt Tower initiates, hits these two. Hector standing here can hit these three, four. But then if I break to here, I can have Minion come up, dance, come back and repo. Would that work? But then how would they chase? Where's the rally? She has the rally, she'll rally. She has ground orders, doesn't she? Um, she'll rally over here, aerobatics to here, dance, under Daedra, the kind of reach is here, here, no, no, she's here, but her reach comes all the way to here, no, the reach is too big, I can't do that, I cannot go after the healing tower, I don't know how to kill this thing, 52 attack, 46 speed? Uh, 43 speed. If I proc Miracle, I should be fine? Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're, they're gonna be hit by my panic. Okay, I'm gonna start this. I don't have time to sit here and think it through. Alright. We're gonna come up to this side. So, the smite has to be in range. She's 57, I'm 58, so she can't panic me. So, it's fine to keep this uh, tactics here. Uh, I kinda want attack tactics too. But I think I need defense tactics more. Actually, I don't need Hector here. Hector, I can just walk into position. Um. Do I need minions dance like that? Not really. I don't think so. Yeah, probably not. Okay. We'll, we'll do it like this. And then there's no reason to initiate with Bolt Tower. Seeing it doesn't hit any of the people we're after, so we will initiate probably next turn. Uh, slight miscalculation here. Yeah, slight miscalculation here. Um, I forgot the reach goes to here. So the smite's a little harder. Uh, okay, let me just reroute this. Let her break that. We pull her back. Move Hector. Get Hector into position. Break that. Um, I hope that damage from well, the healing tower doesn't come back to bite me, but it shouldn't. Wait, wait, wait. I smite up to here. Did I have Naga smite me again? Yeah. Well, I can give it another turn to set up. You have my trust. Yes, Father. Uh, okay, he can't get into position yet.
Let me get him out of the way. Let's move me in over. And, okay. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. 46 to the 23. 23 times 2. Time to kill. Yeah, Alright, let me just yeah. catch a heal first, I guess. I guess we can have... This is the smiting from there. I'll have Mimi and stand here away from Kranya so she doesn't get panicked. I'm gonna unturn. This is running it a bit close, but we don't have to uh, get pots, so we should be fine. Okay, so move her over. Yeah, it's Kanya. So if I smite now, she comes in here. No, she comes in here. And then we want Naga to come down here and come over here to smite again. Then we use Altina to draw back and get out of there. Yeah, yeah. So we do take damage here. On those 44. How much do we do to Om? 16? I think we do just enough to get by. Just so we take no damage from Lulina. Uh, I'm close to 11, so he should die from the attack. Oh yeah, and then there's dagger debuffs. Okay, get Naga out of there. And let's see what happens. Uh, can we take this hit? I don't think so. This iceberg might be too strong. Oh, we lived. Yes. So now we have Miracle. Dagger debuff. To the 14. So we survived. Without even use miracle. Tom um, dies here. And we still have miracle. Oh. I did not account for this one. I did not account for that. Oh, ground orders. Uh, let me see, if I take the win, can I make tier 27? I think so. But... Actually, I, I want to give it up. I have four ladders. I'll give them this one. That was my fault for not um, accounting for uh, what can we call it? Ground orders there. That was really bad of me. Let me go find a rematch. There was a rematch. I want it. I just remembered. Uh, yes, it was this one. The one that was I thought was I think is potentially a trap. We're gonna find out. Okay, is this a trap? Uh, what is this? I have no idea what this is. 
It's like a lion? It's not a cav lion. I don't know what this is. Uh, there's no healing tower, so we can scoot on past that. Uh, well, the healing tower's here, but that doesn't matter. I'll just break it. Break the healing tower. Break this. Um, these are safe spots. I can just walk up to here. Smite, come to here. Walk forward. Kill Nian. Uh, there's a Wing of Mercy here that we gotta watch out for. And I think we're fine after that. Wait, what is this? Uh, yeah, I don't see a reason why we can't take this one. Or Kanya. One of things is that they're extremely spread out, so... They could potentially kill Kanya, but I don't... Did it begin? Not like, not easily at least. Okay, let's put Kanye here. Minion nearby. Uh, let's see. Voltar's hitting those three. Uh, we're hitting Minion, so these get hit. She doesn't get hit though, so. We want Hector to end up where Kanye is right now. So we hit those three. Uh,. These three get hit by the bolt tower. Well, these, these three get hit by the bolt tower. She gets out of it, but she's not in range to attack us. We're attacking from this spot. And we'll just figure out the rest as we go. Okay, I think it's like this. Okay, and we'll just move Hector over. Let's go break stuff. Yeah, I'm, I have the freedom to go just break stuff. No negative abilities on me. But we have to wait a turn. Break this. Alright, we're gonna wait for the bolt tower and then we're gonna go in. Wait, panic. What kind of thing? What the heck panic me? No. Oh. Panic boy? I don't... Time to kill? 46... Okay. I mean, no, I don't... Think I'm, well, there's no way I'm gonna miss the kill without Hector here. Yeah, uh... Just smite in... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> His armor boots are turned off. He can't reach, they can't reach. The two that can reach is over here. Pop them with Hector to make sure they really can't get us. Uh, we're gonna move Naga up, Hector under, so that we have dragon effectiveness um, in the event that we engage on these two dragons here, even though we don't really need it. Alright, logically speaking, these should walk in and die.
It's a um, interesting map. I don't know how well it fends, but against me, it's not been literally nothing. I just needed to smite Kanya and weeded it out. Yeah, nothing stops me from doing this. Now, if you're like, I'm gonna be seeing you. <laughs> now you're dead. We'll just smite Naga in, and but Naga finished the job. Yeah, I, I, I could have just took the last fight, but there's no reason to. <laughs> I completely forgot how to rematch. Like, this was an easy rematch. Oh, 27. Let's see what we're ranked. Alright guys, I just want to get a quick recap in for you guys. So we had a pretty good season. We only used one ladder uh, at the end of the season because we goofed and we forgot about ground waters. Uh, you'll, you'll see it if you watch it all the way. Uh, we did goof up on the last fight um, and we had to use a ladder. Uh... It was not that hard of a map, it was just like, oh, damn, I forgot about ground orders. Uh, but, let's see, uh, and then we also messed up in the beginning, we missed the Aether Pod, but in the long run, it doesn't matter, uh, we still made tier 27, no issue, and as you can see, we're ranked 36, but this is right during reset, so I get the glory of being on the front page for a few minutes. <laughs> Alright guys, um, that's really much for the review. Just take a look at my thought process on some of the plays. If you guys see better plays, um, feel free to put them in the comment section. I don't mind um, getting some insight on uh, plays that you guys see. That, you know, I don't obviously, as you can tell, I don't see a lot of them. And I do take a while to think. Alright guys, till the next video. Bye.